All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, we're going to take a look at the Game Boy DMG and a few accessories and mods that I dumped to mine and just see how good they are. All right, let's check it out. So, y'all, I've had this Game Boy DMG almost three, four years now. I originally found a one that looked just like this, like the original right here. Look. And it was for a dollar. And it had what was called LCD um, cancer to where the kid, you know, jabbed it with a pen or a spoon or something sharp. And it ruined it and cracked the crystal plate and all that, the screen. So it was ruined, but it played and it worked great. And it looked just like this. And so I was like, well, no, I want to go ahead and upgrade it. Since I'm going to go ahead and spend the money on a new IPS screen, I might as well replace everything. So that's what I did. I completely replaced everything on that Game Boy DMG from the IPS screen to the buttons. These are box, boxy pixel brass uh, machine buttons. I love them. They are extremely loud, but it is so worth it because after all this time, they still look like pure gold. And all I do is wipe it down with a cheap little terry cloth, you know, for polishing your car or whatever, lint free cloth. And that's it, y'all. This is all I do. I'm just constantly using a little bit of alcohol and this cloth. And that's it. And you can see the mods have held up beautifully. I played a lot. I also got a clean juice rechargeable type C charger. And uh, I didn't want to get the one with the hole in it because this shell didn't come that way or doesn't have that. And so I don't want to ruin it. I just take it off, plug it up, let it charge up fully. And it's cool because it got little LED lights right here that shine. Let's see if you can see it. If you can focus. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Focus, camera. There you go. There's little LED lights right there. There you go. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, they turn on blue and red. I'll let you know that hey, it's done. And I love it. I didn't get the speaker or none of that other stuff. But this is the unbranded IPS... Uh, screen version one or two from um, Handheld Legends. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the exact same one I got. Now you can get other versions, I guess. They all have different options. There's even some now that have uh, the HDMI coming out the top and stuff or on the side somewhere. So you'll be able to play, you know, on your big screen, your Game Boy DMG. But mine ain't. Mine is just this. Now originally, I did not get the correct screen protector right here. This little dot matrix with stereo little glass shield. And I had one that was smaller. And this is it. And I had got this one originally because I wanted to keep the gold and black look. But it's smaller. And it was taking up screen. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it there. You can see how much smaller it is. Just like a millimeter on either side. But it was enough to make it very uncomfortable for me to play my Game Boy DMG. I did play it, but I can tell that I was missing screen. Um, what is it called? Space. You know, it's bigger. It's bigger. So I was not getting the full effect. And you can see that here. This is a IPS ready screen. And you have to cut that plastic out when you change the new IPS screen in your Game Boy DMG because you get more screen, you know. And so, yeah, this is actually how much you can, a difference. It's a lot. It's amazing how much different it is. But, yeah, I just got this screen three days ago. I went to put it in, and it was straight crazy because I thought I can get a little guitar pick or something, slip it underneath, and just pry the screen off. But it's so stuck on there so well with this double-sided tape from Handheld Legends that I couldn't get it off. So I had to completely take apart my Game Boy DMG. I mean, take all the screws off. And then take the motherboard out. Take that out. And then push it from the back out. Pop the screen off. I cleaned it with some alcohol. Make sure that it had no residue from the old stuff. And then it gave me a chance to clean the screen on the IPS screen. Because I had actually some dust in there from the original mod. I just never wanted to go clean it. But now I had the opportunity I cleaned it really good with my lint-free dust cloth and, you know, and everything. And then now I put the screen back and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm over here. I went ahead and got this multi-cart. And a lot of people were hating on it because it's uh, it's not a 
crits, multi car, and I understand, but this was really cheap and available and easy to get. The crits ones, you know, they're $150, $200, man, and I just didn't want to do that. So this works great for Game Boy Color and Game Boy games. And this is all I need because I don't like playing the um, Game Boy Color and the Game Boy games on my Game Boy Advance or DS and all of that. To me, they don't look good. When, when you put them on those other screens and it makes it smaller, it just looks really ugly. And I prefer the actual look of these screens and of original you know hardware it just looks better to me it really do i can do a comparison later video so i got this cart to play with mine and you can find these everywhere you there's all kind of clones and they all come with the sd card up here on the top comes right out and that's how you load and unload all your games you know delete whatever you don't want because i don't like pokemon so i deleted all those and made room for every other game boy and game boy color and game boy games and I actually went back and downloaded every single Game Boy and Game Boy um, Color game. And so I can preserve my games that I have. And so, yeah, I got all these ROM backups. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's awesome. I have over, what is it, 1,900 Game Boy games and 1,200 Game Boy Color games, something like that. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. It is just, just awesome. It's great to have all these different um, mods available to you. You know, I don't have to worry about my battery going dead on my battery because it just charges up. Sorry. You just charge it right back up. And it lasts hours. I mean, hours. I've gone days, you know, without having to charge it up. And it's going to play good, loud volume. Yeah, and if the volume's not good enough, you can buy a clean little adapter that goes on the board on the inside, and it makes it even louder. And then, to display it, they even have these little stands. Man, look at that. Look how beautiful and sexy that looks. Just set it like that. Put a little light, LED light on there, you know? Because you know I got it over there, so it would be nice to have them all sitting there facing each other and they got them for the Game Boy Advance Micro Color what is it SP your DS and Pocket but my Pocket is displaying in a different uh, display that came from the factory so I ain't gonna get one of these but I will get one for all my other systems because I got them over here I have all these and I want to get some more stands for all these so I can display everything better Everything's just chilling over here on my PlayStation 5. But yeah, y'all. Go over there, Handheld Legends. Go to their website. Check out all the little upgrades that you can get. Just like I said, you can get IPS screens that have composite out, HDMI out now. It's just, <laughs> just really crazy that they have that. Go and you can get your all kind of screens. Customize your Game Boy any way you want. You want to make it look like this that, that looks good there with black buttons too so yeah go out there and get it do it mod it make a video let me draw you up close of this first before we go because this is really cool let me focus come on man focus so you can see the beautifulness of it there you go it has game boy etched right here in laser Oh, there it goes. You can see it beautiful. Game Boy on this side. Of course, if it's a DS, it'll say DS. And it'll have the same thing. But these things just pop out in and out. Very easy to, uh, to put up. Has a little sticky film, so no fingerprints. But, uh, yeah. It's really beautiful. Keep it clean. Crystal clear. Nice. Okay, y'all. I hope your Saturday morning is going good. I'm going to go over here, play some Game Boy DMG that's been modded by myself out of uh, good quality product from Anhill Legends. All right, until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.